It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah, and welcome back to another day of our 25 most notable bourbons in American Rise of 2021. I won't deny you the opportunity to shake the barrel. It seems like you really like it. Okay, today we'll be trying Four Gate Kelvin Collaboration Number Three, Batch Twelve. <laughs> Welcome back, it's day 19. Mm. Yeah, I know, they're getting away from us. And we have the Four Gate Kelvin Collaboration 3. Ooh, that part makes you happy. Yeah, this is finished in PX Sherry Rum Casks. Which I will note, we very much like this one, and you and I are not usually sherry finished people, but I think the rum is the key. Yeah. Like when you have sherry finishes, also playing with rum finishes, you have our attention. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a 123.7. Oh, so fragrant. This is also known overall as batch 12. It's a Kelvin three overall. Batch 12. No spoilers, but that we did have a Kelvin batch in uh, last, last year's year? best of. Sure and, uh, did. You, you can go watch that if you want to see how it did. It was well. It did, it did well. well. It did well. It was well. It was good. <laughs> that was good. I get a floral and sweet syrupy, like I get those rummy flavors, almost like, um, you know, like caramelized sugars in a pan or something. Uh, and then, but also some floral fruity sweet notes, which is, I think, I mean, a I can only assume a balance of that cherry and rum. Steak. Chadwick. <laughs> no, it's it's steak. I mean, I, I get I get the cherry also, sort of like a cherry cordial, but I definitely think there's light cherry. Off there, over there. Someone's, someone made a steak in that room. Making a steak. Oh, so you're getting made like some it. savory They're pepper. Making it, yes. Umami. Yeah. It. This nose makes me hungry. <laughs> I mean, I'm also hungry. <laughs> All right. Well, huzzah. And the first thing I noticed is the mouthfeel. Yeah. It's just the coating. Yeah. Ooh. It's got that little pop of citrus mm -hmm. there in the very beginning, almost like a lemon pepper steak. Um, <laughs> but yes, the mouthfeel, it's very actually mouth watering. Yeah, it makes me like, and those flavors, it's like the sweet and the savory and the- Salivating over uh, it. Yeah, it makes makes my mouth water even as I'm drinking mm -hmm. it. I do, li I do like this one a lot. Medium long finish, starting to settle in down here to the chest. Mm. Second set. There's some nice spice in there too. It's very mellow and it kind of builds a little. It doesn't take over, mm. not too crazy. Really just adds to the balance of everything else that's going on. Very harmonious, it's yeah. It's very luscious. <laughs> luscious, there you go. No, I mean, yeah, it's like a it's like a gusher. I mean, it's just, this thing is juicy. Uh, don't know how else to say it. It's warming me right up too. It mm -hmm. gives you like a nice, a nice hug right there and yeah. builds. Yeah, you know, I totally get the 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 rum, the rum finish, mm. the rum influence because it just, I mean, it's one of those bourbons or finished whiskeys that I I say it tastes intoxicating, and if that's the first time you've heard me say that, then you might be like, then you're what? New <laughs> welcome. But no, I mean, it, it it has that. Of course, it's alcohol. But it's but, just like engaging your senses yes. fully and your. You're having a moment. <laughs> it's almost like when someone says, oh, her, his or her beauty is intoxicating. It's you know, it's, it's like that. It's like this drink is intoxicating. I haven't heard you say that to me lately, so. We'll Your beauty is intoxicating. Oh, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really enjoying like the spices with the fruit notes, with that like rummy sugars. And then yet you're still getting that, you know, influence of being in the barrel with the oak and like maybe even a tiny, tiny bit of tobacco. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, I definitely get the oak influence. It's almost mm. sort of like, a, almost like what I get on some toasted barrels sometimes. Um, it is a, a dark, dark oak, pushing dark chocolate, but yeah, a little bit of a, a tobacco leaf in there. I'm not really getting like, when you get tobacco because of like age, usually you can also get like a leather note. Mm. Not so much getting the leather, but not yeah, so that much. tobacco. And I feel like that's probably from the, the specialized, specialized Kelvin Cooperage barrel that was made mm. um, for for this. Yeah, I, I think this is nice. I like this one because I feel like I could spend a lot of time with it and keep uncovering new things, and mm -hmm. it's exciting. You know where else you can uncover new things that are exciting? Whiskeyambitions.com. I set that one up. I always got to wait for an opening, and then, and then I got to take it. That's where you can get our Glen Cairns, our Copitas, our rocks glasses challenge coins, t-shirts and hats. I'm rocking the classic, 
the original logo uh, drink more right bourbon. here. Our, our, yeah, our drink more bourbon. It's here and here. Don't forget about the candles. Don't forget about the candles, the candle samplers, uh, the pins, hats, and sweatshirts, and more. Always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. I don't know that there's any room for me to say anything else. Patreon. Oh, that's right. Uh -huh. Patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. Come join us for as little as one buck a month. And that is where you will find out about all the barrel picks that we have coming in 2022 and potentially an opportunity to be on one of those barrel picks. Yes. And you get after the episode exclusive. So we'll give you kind of a down low um, during this time of the year on what we think, what our predictions might be for our blind tasting. That's exciting. That is exciting. Sarah, uh, I think it's your turn to tell us Ooh. why this made it on the list. I mean, I really feel like we've said it through the episode, mm -hmm. and I hate to, that to be the go-to answer, but like the layers of flavor that I feel like we could sit with and uncover, the mouthfeel, yep. um, the play between those flavors, and how it just really feels like it was always meant to be whatever the sum of all of this work was, yes. and never just the parts. Um, right. And I got it. I mean, I love the proof. Yeah, um, yeah. And like it's it's really living up to the Kelvin series name, I feel like, based on what we did uh, with last year. What about you? Yeah, I feel like it's, uh, you know, building a nice little dynasty. Some people say dynasty. I say schedule. <laughs> you uh, have never. <laughs> what, said schedule? Mm, not seriously. Uh, well, I'm never serious. Um, I feel like it's, it's building a nice little, um, you know, uh, I don't know any other word to say besides Dynasty. Uh, we haven't had the Kelvin one, but we've had the two and loved it. Now here's the three. Love I, it. I, I feel like it's really kind of, you know, it's it's, it's something stuff of legend. Yeah, I think it's I something that we will continue to go out and look for. Yeah, we don't we don't need to hear from anyone if it's good. If we see four on the shelves, it's an instant buy for us because two and three have been so good to us, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that sums it up nicely. I think so too. All right. So there you go. Hey, if you are new to the channel, you know what you can do. You can click right up here to subscribe, or there's other videos down here that you can click on, and we can see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. See you all tomorrow. Until then, drink more bourbon. <laughs>